United Nations Peace Force. They are to bring the UN up to a point where no state should, would have the military power to challenge the progressively strengthened U.S. police uh, peace force, and all international disputes would be settled according to the agreed principles of international conduct. That's exactly what the Bible says. It was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. No one can make war with this final world entity. And if you will study your scriptures out, you will find that the United Nations fulfills every parameter listed for the uh, Antichrist system. And Public Law 87297 has been updated. There are numerous updates. You will, if you go search them out, uh, Public Law 101-216, for example, has been updated. Here's another one. I have today signed H.R. 1495, the Arms Control and Disarmament Amendment Acts of uh, 1989. Uh, it authorizes the uh, fiscal appropriations uh, to get this thing underway. Now, the problem with it is the Bill of Rights, an amendment to the right to bear arms, a well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. In other words, in reality, you cannot infringe that right in any way, method, or manner. The only way a people can remain free is to hold in their power the weapons necessary to secure their free state. This amendment deals with the international security of the United States from its own government. In other words, this amendment was to secure the people's freedom from their own government, from an internal government takeover. This right is not there uh, so that you can go hunting or for the other excuses made. It is there to prevent the government of the United States from becoming a dictatorship by treason. In other words, by betrayal of the Constitution of the United States. Now, in order to merge the United States into the United Nations requires a total betrayal of the Constitution, which guarantees you a free state through the right to bear arms. You 